Hey guys, Twana Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my video. I want to talk to you guys about the Narcissist Final Discard and what that means. And I'm recording in my car because I'm about to go somewhere and I was going to record this quick video while I drive. And then I remembered I wear glasses to drive. I don't like them. I don't like how I look in them. It's just a weird self-conscious thing. But anyway, so I decided not to. So anyway, let's talk about what the narcissist final discard looks like. Um, so the cycle of abuse generally occurs within three different stages. The first stage being the love bombing idealization stage. Um, the second stage being the devaluation stage. And then the third stage being the discard. And then they typically go back to the love bombing stage. I made videos about that, but I'll just briefly, you know, go into it very, very briefly. The love bombing stage is when everything's great. They're giving you a ton of love and affection and attention. It's just amazing. You're wonderful. You're, you're the best thing on God's green earth, okay? The devaluation stage is when they start the abuse. They start to really devalue you and criticize you and put you down. And they become abusive emotionally, physically, like psychologically abusive just this is when they really start to um, just tear you apart and then following that stage they decide they don't they don't need you you're not basically you're not good supply um, they start to devalue you and then eventually discard you when they can't control you or if they feel like you're really basically um, you're not falling for their bullshit, basically. And so that's when they start to really, um, really put you down. Well, anyway, the third stage is the the discard. And, and that's where they reject you. They, they will abandon you somehow and reject you somehow in a very, like, dramatic way. Like, they can't just say, this relationship isn't working, I'm done. So they have to, like pick this huge fight with you or just do something just really damaging to you um, and basically just walk out on you and and just try to make you feel like a piece of shit that doesn't deserve them because again they're narcissists and, and they're grandiose and they think they're special and wonderful and and you're not good enough in those moments and so anyway almost I'm not gonna say almost always I'm going to say that, I, I guess I can say that, because like always is like an absolute. Almost always, they will go back to the love bombing stage, and they will start all over. Once they realize that they really need you, because we don't need them. Narcissists need us. Well, if you're codependent, you need them in, in another way. But anyway, they realize that they need you because you're a good supply. Okay, they don't have a sense of self without someone feeding them life, basically. We're their emotional lifeline. And if you're a good supply, they're going to they're gonna keep coming back. So almost always they're going to go back to the love bombing stage. And then if they get you back, which they, they typically do for a while because they're good at it. And then they're going to um, basically start to devalue you again and discard you again. Well, anyway, the final discard. What does that look like? Um, I would say probably non-existent if you are really good supply. If you are someone who is probably codependent, okay? You like taking care of other people. You like putting people's feelings and, and needs before your own. You like to make people feel special. You are a giver in a relationship. But not just not just anyone, like... You want you like to to give and take and rescue like the wounded soul. And the codependent recognizes that that insecure, vulnerable, wounded part of the narcissist. Um even if it's like a subconscious thing, like we know it's there. And so we're drawn to these dysfunctional people. But anyway, if you were really good supply and just very empathic and just made them feel alive and just made them feel as special as they think they are, they are going to probably always try to come back. Until they find 
someone who is just as good supply or better than you. Um, so I'm saying that to say, even when you think the narcissist is like done and gone for good and, and, and finally you're not falling for the shit and you're like, yes, he's finally gone. I'm like free of this crazy person who just wouldn't stop harassing me, who wouldn't let me go, who put me through hell. I'm done. I'm free. And then he comes back hovering. Okay. Um, months can go by. Years can go by. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. Like, it's it's weird because there's someone who I haven't talked to, literally talked or texted to in years, and they have they won't go away, and it's just things like Facebook messaging and like a text every now and then because I've had my my phone forever, the same number, and just things like that, and I had a very brief relationship with this person, and we ended on a bad note, like it's over you know it's been over I've never even it wasn't even that serious to me but I realized you know looking back this person was a narcissist and so still to this day y'all it's been like man it, it may have been like five years I promise you and still hoovering like unanswered texts unanswered like messages still there like go away so I don't know these people just don't freaking go away um, you know, it's, it's not impossible, I'd say, because I told you, if, if they find supply that's better than you, or just as good as you, they may go away, um, for good, but don't completely put your guard down. Like, don't think you're never going to hear from them again, because you may. Years can go by, and then there they are, and then, you know, they like to do the whole, birthday thing and special occasion and you know normally if someone remembers you on a special day and they were once an important part of your life that could be a positive thing but when it's the narcissist it's not so don't fall for it even it might feel good because you know they have their way of the love bombing stage right it feels good when they're hoovering and they're giving you like positive attention, it feels good. But you cannot fall for it. You have to remember what they're doing. You have to remember that it's all manipulation. It's all a game with them. And so what the final discard looks like, I don't really know. And I'm not really sure if it exists. Um, I guess it could. But I just kind of feel like they're always going to keep coming back. And so you have to be the one to be, to kind of reverse the roles. And you have to be the one to make the decision that the contact with this person is final. And so they're not going to do it. We have to do it, actually. So that's all I wanted to share because, you know, it's just important to know that these people are always... Um, always trying to basically win and winning for them means getting their supply back and that will be you so don't do it that's all I want to say okay now I can go where I was about to go and put on my glasses bye y'all